Thank you there for the coverage of South Asia. Over to Europe, Middle East and Africa, there were 14 other developments and one assessed issue. Talking about Middle East specifically, there were clashes between the national forces of Iraq and Kurdistan in Sinjar region. And this is worthy of note primarily because the country is looking to stabilize itself, and that doesn't seem to be on the horizon with continued clashes between the uh, between the regular forces and the rebel groups, who seem to be Kurdish forces associated with the uh, Turkish Kurdish party, and they are being quite controversial. So businesses need to watch out for such uh, escalation in clashes and political tensions, especially in and around Kurdistan. They have a long history of turmoil between the government in Baghdad and Kurdistan. Uh, with that, it's a wrap for Middle East. I'll pass it on to Sitate to cover Africa. Well, uh, thank you, Bagrav. In Africa, the major issue is the decision by the Malian transition authorities to terminate uh, the defense cooperation agreements with France. And this uh, has to be considered in the context of uh, the continuing deterioration of uh, uh, diplomatic ties between uh, Mali and France. Uh, which is largely uh, marked by uh, the ongoing withdrawal of the French and European troops uh, from the country. Uh, the issue also has to be considered uh, from the perspective of the increasing uh, military engagements between uh, Mali and Russia uh, as well. So businesses with operations in uh, Mali need to uh, watch out for uh, a possible uh, anti-French and pro-Russian rallies uh, which uh, may disrupt uh, uh, road transportation. And we also want to uh, look out for a further deterioration of uh, uh, the security situation in the country, uh, especially in uh, the northern and uh, central regions. And then across in Europe, uh, the matter in question uh, involves Germany, uh, where there is an ongoing strike at several uh, warehouses and distribution centers uh, operated by Amazon. And uh, the striking workers are demanding uh, higher wages and uh, better protection of their personal uh, data. And businesses with operations in Germany uh, uh, need to watch out for uh, possible disruption in supply chains, uh, especially if their commercial activities are linked uh, with Amazon's uh, supply chain uh, network. Uh, they also want to watch out for uh, a possibility of disruption in road travel in the event uh, that protesters uh, rally on major roads and other public spaces. So that's uh, all from Europe and Africa. Over to you, Bagrav. Thank you. Thank you, Siddharthi, for the coverage. Uh, that's a wrap for us. Thank you very much for joining us. If you need to know more about our bespoke membership services, write to us at info at apacassistance.com. Thank you.